Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmake. In the last video, we created the death explosions for the asteroids and ship. If you haven't watched that video, the link will be on screen and in the description below. All versions of the project will also be available on GitHub, so you can download the project from any point in the series. In today's video, we're going to be creating the explosion mechanic for our asteroids and our ship. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. So before we start, I'm just going to move our asteroid field in front of our ship, rotate it so it's facing the ship. So if you run the game, the asteroids will move in the direction of the ship. We also don't need these explosions, so I'm going to delete them. So to start off, I'm going to open up the uh, ship controller. The first thing we need is a public game object for our explosion prefab. So I'm going to do public game object explosion prefab semicolon and in our if statement where we destroy the ship before that i'm going to do instantiate brackets game object no not game object um explosion prefab our ship's position so transform dot position and finally quaternion dot identity semicolon so what this will do is when our ship's health goes below zero it will instantiate or spawn our explosion prefab on our ship's position with the rotation set to default, which is zero. So I'm gonna save that. And we're also gonna do the same thing in the asteroid controller. So we do public game object, explosion prefab. And again, in the update function, we're gonna do instantiate brackets, explosion prefab, transform dot position and quaternion dot identity. So if we save that, go back to unity, Wait for the scripts to compile. Now if we select our ship and go to our prefabs folder and then drag our ship explosion onto our explosion prefab and apply those changes. Then go to our asteroids folder, select all the asteroids holding shift, go to the prefabs folder and add our asteroid explosion to the explosion prefab. So if we run the game and if we die quickly, uh, the explosion prefab is is spawned. And also if we destroy the asteroids, uh, they spawn the explosions. What you may have noticed is that when when the explosion spawns, once it, once the uh, particle system's finished, it's, the object is still there. For efficiency reasons, we don't want that. So if we go to our scripts folder, I'm gonna create another script. So right click, create c -sharp script, and I'm gonna call this uh, particle controller. Mm, part, no, I'm going to call this explosion controller. Underscore controller. I'm going to open that up. We don't need this. As our explosions are particle systems, we want to access the particle system component. So we do public. No, we're not public. Private particle system. And I'm going to just call it PS for short. And in and if we create the void function. So void, the void function, sorry, if we create the start function, void start, we want to set the PS part, particle system to the explosion particles. So do PS is equal to transform dot get component. And we want to access the particle system. So particle system, oh God, yep, that's the one. Brackets and semicolon. And in the update function, we want to destroy the uh, explosion object when the particle system has finished. So we do if brackets ps dot is alive brackets and we want to check if it's not alive. So we do explanation mark at the beginning curly brackets. We want to destroy the object. So destroy brackets game object semicolon. So save that. Go back to Unity. Wait for that to compile and if we go to our prefabs folder, select both of our explosions, then go back to our scripts folder and then we want to add our explosion controller to those objects. So now if we run the game, when we die, once the particle's finished, the object is destroyed. And it's the same for the asteroid explosions. So that's all we've got for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. For updates on our asset packs and videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For a more behind the scenes look into what we do, you can also follow us on Instagram. Links for those will be in the description below. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.